Good morning. So this morning, it's Saturday morning. I'm kind of feeling like these last couple of days, the fog has been lifting after this uh, last big purging. And I feel like it's the calm after the storm. Um, I feel like the pain is kind of gone. There's still in the background like a memory of the pain, like a like a very faint throbbing or or like everything is still kind of settling after the storm. It's, it's like after the storm, everything starts settling back down into, but there's some kind of calm. It feels like everything is very, very still. And it feels like I've come to a complete different level. Um, the things that caused me pain before, yeah, thoughts that caused me pain, I feel are not there. I feel way more resonated into myself, into this journey. Um, I feel more secure, like there's a knowing in me that everything is exactly as it needs to be. And there is, I feel so much stronger, but, but stronger in a way that it's not like a, um, offensive. It's, it's, it's not like I'm out there getting stronger. I feel more like I've always been here, but I've, I'm just have shedded things that have been bringing me down. And so I'm, um, more like in my natural place and things that have been nagging at me and pulling me down, false beliefs, um, um, demons, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've kind of shed during all of this purging and during all of this uh, burning out stage. It feels like it feels like the last couple of weeks have been, it, it feels like the last couple of months have been like this buzz that it, we're building up for this massive purging that happened in the last few days. And the, the last few days was like the ignition of the fire, like the fire finally, it was, it was, it was smoldering until, and then it finally ignited. And then there was just a complete burnout for a few days. And now I feel like finally, Everything was burnt out and the fire's out, but now it's kind of like, um, it's like entering into a new reality, entering into a new space that feels far more let go, um, far, uh, you know, I've been on this journey, this twin flame journey for now two years. And so I, I'll kind of, because I'm, because this is kind of like an update video. So I'll kind of update also what's going on with that. Um, so I've been, and, and I also want, want to say after the, one thing at a time so that I can finish something and then start something. So it's been two years. And I kind of feel like I've gotten to a place where it was almost like my whole life I met him and then my whole life just started spiraling and that engulfed my whole life. And now I'm feeling like, you know, I've been on this run for the last two years and now I feel like finally some dust is settling. There is nowhere to run to. That connection, that bind is there. Um, even if I completely let go and just completely release. And that's what I feel like I'm doing. I feel like I'm releasing it. And that it's kind of like when you're holding on to something really tight, holding on to something really tight, because you're afraid it's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna lose it or something. And then you release it. And when you release it, you see that it just stays right there in place. There was nothing that you had to hold on to. Um, and I kind of feel like I want to take my energy and put it into other, I want to get excited about other things in my life. And even, even, um, even open myself up for a relationship. Um, you know, open myself for it, not go out and actively search for it. Cause I, I realize that whatever is mine will come to me when, when, when I'm attracted to somebody, 
I don't have to search it out. I know it. When I meet them, I know it. There is uh, uh, a knowing. So, um, so at least open myself up to that option and that opportunity. And I feel like that this, this whole journey has taken up so much of my life that it kind of, everything else kind of fell out. And, and I really want to bring the focus back and do something that I enjoy doing, something that I'm excited about. I want to get excited about my work. There's so many projects that I want to do. I want to start doing my artwork. I started yesterday and I, and I'm tired of running. I'm tired of chasing. I'm tired of all the time running. You know, it was for for a long time, for, for a very long time. It was almost like I couldn't sit at home. I couldn't sit. And these last couple of days since this haze has kind of been lifting and since I kind of went through this whole, I almost see it like a morning stage, like this purging, getting on this, uh, this uh, complete burnout. And... Um, Ever since it's starting to lift, first of all, I'm seeing everything far more colorful. Everything in my life is is seeming far more interesting, far more colorful. There's so many more options. Um, I'm seeing like this this excitement around different aspects of my life that I didn't see before. That before it was kind of like everything everything I touched hurt. Everything, uh, everything I touched, I it kind of for some reason, hurt. And yesterday and today, I kind of woke up with um, I had been walking around with the feeling like I had a hole through my chest. And I kind of feel like that's mending. It's kind of like I feel kind of safe and, and secure, even, even just alone in myself. And and even if, like, yesterday, I was in fight. Yesterday, okay, so updates. Um, my twin, I don't even like calling him that. I don't even know what to call him. I don't know what to call him. Counterpart. I don't even know what to call him. For the sake of the video. So my twin after that big burnout, which by the way, I, after he invited me, he was over here at this spring next to my house and he invited me and we had a conversation and he talked to me about, um, and, and see, the thing is, is that I'm starting to feel like the relationship between him and I has gotten to a level where it feels very, very, very intimate and personal and private and pers personal. And I feel almost like talking about it is cheapening it or is like it's between him and I. It, it feels like it's at such a, it's gotten to such a deep level that it almost seems like it's sacred. And so to put it out in the open and talk about it, and it feels like it's opening it up for discussion from people that are out. It just feels a little bit too intimate anymore. Um, the connection there is so deep that it feels like I'm desecrating it or something. But, but to update anyway, um, and and having said that, is that um, so a lot of the things that are more personal, I feel like I need to keep more personal. Um, but we had a conversation, and really, after the initial shock um, that I had, he talked to me about it, and I could see that that for for him it is something that is deeper than the way that I was looking at it. And I felt like, okay, if that's what you need on your path to for your um, expansion and 
to learn the lessons that you need to learn, then that's, you know, I feel like um, that's what it is. And when he told me that, I kind of went into myself and turned into like a sucked into myself. I didn't really say a lot. He asked me how I felt in the whole situation and I told him and and it was a good conversation. It was short. It was very painful and then he left and then he was going to Vipassana. I didn't see him after that. Um, I sent him a message wishing him all well and then he put up um, like a post on Facebook that he put me as his emergency contact when he went into Vipassana, which was kind of like um, a stabilizer, I felt like, like, uh, um, like old friends. I feel like we're establishing a old friend kind of relationship. And he came out of Vipassana yesterday and we met in the morning and spent a few hours and it was um it was really nice every time we meet it's like we go into a bubble and it was far more let go than it has ever been than i have ever felt with him um i felt felt like i let go and i feel like that connection as long as i'm letting go and not trying to hold on to him then it's just like that release, like I said, where you release something and then it just floats above your hand, right? There's, there's nothing to grasp onto. And when I don't try, when I try to grasp on, it's like trying to catch water. It just goes right through your grasp and, and the, the other one doesn't want to be held onto. And when you let go, but it's a real let go. It's like a tick. There's like a whick. That's what I felt. I felt that. And then I went into that um, purging and that those strong purging energies. And I kind of feel like that wave of energy, that was a massive, massive wave that came through and it kind of passed and receded and left me way up on the shore, almost to the top of the mountain. And it was so funny because the other day I did a video about, about how it's like a, I did that analogy like it's about like a dog that goes out and gets a bone and brings the bone and then yesterday when he was leaving he opens up his uh, the trunk of his car and he's got a bone in there but that was right after he, I, mean, I see through him I see through him he had this big bone he was showing me a literal bone it was a bone like that you would find on the side of a mountain but it was like cool it was gnarly so he was like showing literally showing me a bone I thought that was so funny because the synchronicities on this journey are just ridiculous, ridiculous. Like what, what dude, why do you have a bone in it? I mean, what? And that was right after he made sure that I could, you know, rub my nose in it a little bit and then show me the bone. It's like, it's like so, it's like the, my analogy playing out in the physical world literally literally like of my analogy becoming literal i think that is just so funky but <laughs> this whole journey is just so stupid it's like it's like so loopy it's all over the place and the layers of it the layers and the synchronicity and the depth of it and the going through yourself and the flipping back and forth and the strong emotions and and the realizations but i am so i feel really i just even with everything it's like every morning you wake up and you're like okay how do i feel <laughs> what's gonna be and so these last couple of days ever since that big purge first of all i feel like i came out the other side of the storm you can see me i'm just like I, at first i felt like i was just like you know like your emotions are sore it was like somebody took your emotions and made them into a punching bag and just punched the crap out of your emotions and then you like wake up and your emotions feel sore I and mean, that's the only way i can explain it it feels like you went through like the ringers and 
and it's like your, your your emotions are like all bruised and wide open. You feel everything, everything. And now I got to this place of just like yesterday and today where everything just feels like still. It's like I came into the now, like I was born into puck, the now. Everything is just still. You know, everything, it's, it's almost like eerie. It's almost like when, when after the storm or right before the storm too, but after the storm, you go out and everything is just still. And all of a sudden the birds are chirping and you see that life is like renewed and everything is more colorful and everything is more powerful. And, and I feel more powerful, but powerful, not in an outish kind of pushy kind of way, more of in like a relaxed knowing my power kind of way. And I don't feel like running. Yesterday I was invited to a, a really fun evening with friends to go and do like a, a, a dinner on the fire. I don't, and my kids are with their, with their father and I could have gone. It was a, it was going to be a really nice evening. And I debated and debated with myself because these last couple of years, I've just been running constantly, like anything to take my mind. And yesterday I just felt like doing a, a evening with myself. I put on music, I lit a candle, I put on incense, I uh, started an art project, I went and visited my parents. I just relaxed, I just did relaxation. And this morning I'm also invited to a, um, like friends are getting together and going on like this walk together um, in nature. And I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like just being, I feel like I've, I've been through a lot in these last few days and I feel like just relaxing into myself. And this is new. This is like a new calm and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm settling into it. And I'm settling into it. And not only am I settling into it, I'm embracing it and kind of bringing it down. Like, um, you know, if I have the, the, the question of should I go or should I stay, then the question is I should stay. The answer is I should stay in order to anchor this uh, relaxation into my life. I want to start anchoring these moments of pure calm. Because I know that on this journey, there's when we're passing through, there are places where where we can fall into, or or that our old behaviors come up and start haunting us and taunting us, like at, trying to pull us down. You could see it as like our our demons trying to tempt us into old behaviors, and what I really want to do is kind of try to take this and solidify it into my reality, this calm and this ability to just sit and do my artwork. It's been so long since I've been able, it's like my mind is always at a buzz. So I never really, there's all of these projects that I want to do and all of these things that I want to do, but there's so much that I want to do that it just makes my mind into the, like this buzz. And then I end up chasing or running or, or um, doing, doing, you know, whereas if I had just sat in it for a while and, you know, I've been thinking about this. There's been so many projects that I've been wanting to do. And if, even if I had worked on them an hour a day, one project at a time, I would be sitting on a mountain, a mountain of things that I have accomplished. And then I have the flip side of it that says, your spiritual work is the most important work. But then I have the flip side of that that says grounding your spiritual work into 3D is the highest form of spiritual work because this is the life experience, this 3D experience. You know, we, we're always these eternal creatures. Right now, we're these eternal creatures that are having this life experience. So mastering ourselves in the higher realms and then being able to bring it down into this realm, that's full self mastery. That's full self. And so I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just trusting that I'm exactly where I need to be, where I, whenever I am, wherever I am, I'm feeling very, very powerful in this moment. I'm feeling, um, accomplished. I'm feeling 
um, really let go and kind of off the hook. I still have, you know, certain, certain things still bring up a little like hint of that, uh, pain, but there's nothing in me that wants to hold on to that pain again. It's like I've purged and I've felt the pain to the extremes of it. I felt it. It brought me literally to my knees and on the floor and I kind of, I don't want to hold on to that anymore. I don't want to uh, exist in that. I, this, this place of shiny, everything is just shiny and new um, as you come out of that. And I feel whole in myself. And, uh, and excited about what's going to come. And so I'm going to turn this around and show you where I'm sitting because it's pretty. So right here, there's a whole bunch of bees on this, uh, on this plant. And this is where I'm sitting. So really, that's just the update on on the twin flame, uh, twin flame, like what's going on with me with all the purging and the twin flame journey and and kind of where I'm at. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it.